Hello! This is Skibby, and today we have Coin Gear ADC Club, uh, the premium one. I forget if it's premium or pro, what, whatever. This is our first green box. <laughs> so let's get into it. <clears throat> it came in a, whatever, USPS mailer. So, no tape to cut. Hooray! We got a thing. Push! Oh, that's exciting. Going Gear EDC Club. Oh, okay, yeah, premium. But let's let's mess with the standard first, right? Right. Jeez, do we have what? How many knives are in this thing? All right. Wow, this looks like a good box, my dudes. And here's Iro. Right on time. Sir, you don't get to go in the window today. It is very hot out. It's very hot out. I'm just going to stand in the way. All right. Iro will be there. So let's see. The first item that we're going to go over, because we're going to go bottom up, is this Tech Accessories Aluminum Glow Fob. Ooh. Ah. Glow in the dark key fob, perfect DDC accessory for when the sun goes down. Okay. Man, this box is is solid, dude. We got this tech accessories thing. Help you find your keys bag, whatever you attach it to. Black alum uh anodized black aluminum anodized housing. Shouldn't it be black anodized aluminum housing? Whatever. With M bright, glow fob, 12 hours, bloody oh sir. Oh, sir. My sir. Oh, no. Oh, no. My poor boy. He can't go outside, so he breaks his father's things. Oh, poor boy. Oh, how woeful is he. Sir, you can't go outside. <laughs> All right. So what do we got? We got... Oh! That's cute and little. It's like uh, one of those uh, tritium jobs. Now he's messing with the light. Oh, this boy. That's really cool. And they say 15 bucks on that. And we got a little hook. And a little split ring. Yeah, man. That's pretty cool. I don't know about $15. I, I'm, I'm not a huge glow guy, right? So, uh, you know whatever but um i'll definitely check it out i know the tritium ones of these are like 70 dollars so 15 dollars doesn't seem too terribly out of place i guess that's pretty cool tech accessories little glow fob that's real cool then what do we got <clears throat> got the kershaw dune this awesome looking neck knife with its sword blade design whether you use it as a backup knife, primary knife, whatever. Uh, fun knife to have on you, okay. Full tang, 3.8 inch blade, that's pretty cool. Lightweight, 2.5 ounce, cool. Molded sheath and nylon cord lanyard. So here's this. What do they say about it? HCR, okay. Black oxide coating. Okay. Let's check it out. We'll be using the uh, lander as an opening knife. Why not? I'll try not to cut myself or the lanyard. But we know that uh, stuff happens. And who knows what will happen. Wasn't the prettiest get, but here we go. Here's the blade cover. I'll put that back in there. Man, that's solid. Okay. Sure enough. Just a hunk of metal with an edge. <laughs> I don't know why it's... <laughs> I don't know. That's really, really fun. I definitely would have, would not have bought this by myself. But 
It's really cool to have. <laughs> that's real silly. Man, that's kind of thick stock. And the sheath it does only go one way, so you have to pay attention to that. We've got an adjustable cord. It's bread tied together, of course. Is it not tied? Hmm. Did they not put a knot in it? I guess they don't have to, but that's kind of weird. Yeah, it's just got the compression thing. Okay, so we'll just throw in a carrick band. So what you do is you make a Jesus fish, and then you come behind and cross, and you go over that one, under that one, then over, under, and over. See that? So it's like you have... Uh, Oh, a Celtic lover's knot, but it's two two uh, fishies, right? So you got one fish and two fish, and then you just tighten it up a little bit, and there you go, your double carrig bent. All right, so that was a Kershaw Dune, thirty bucks. I uh, I don't know, I don't know. Okay, we'll go with that. The last item in the standard box, because we're going bottoms up, is Best Techman Ronin. Sub-brand of Best Tech Knives, the Best Techman. Uh, budget quality, or er, uh, budget friendly. Cool, cool, cool. Thick liners, G10 handle, provide excellent grip. Cool. Spear point blade, okay. 14C28N, that's nice. Great combo of durability, edge retention, and ease of sharpening. And we have this fun, shiny dang box. Shine, shine, shine. That's cool. Let's check it out. Oh, yeah. That's, I like that. I think I've seen this one. I didn't say that it was an Axis style lock. And this one feels better. So, this is the same deal with the last best tech we had. If you pull it down, there's like a little uh, kickstand thing that gets pushed. Chook. So, I guess it helps with uh, deployment. But when you go to swing it closed, it's going to stay open until you release, and then it'll go in. So, something to pay attention to. I think this is a very slick looking knife, man. Yeah, that, that fits my hand real nice. You can do all kinds of hand positions with it. Real nice. Really, really, really nice. Looks like uh, it's on bearings. That's fine. It's not my preferred way, but, you know, whatever. Next to a Spyderco Paramilitary 3, about the same size. It's a Benchmade Griptilian. Those are closer to the same size. But that makes sense, right? Yeah. Those are pretty dang close. But that makes sense. Axis lock, about that size. Yeah. Fun jimping on the back. They said spear point. That's fine. Okay. I don't hate that, Ed, that, that blade style. Yeah, pretty okay. Definitely smooth. Best take pivot. Oh, inset pocket clip. That's nice. The only thing is it's not <laughs> reversible. <laughs> Why isn't it reversible? Got an ambi lock and not an ambi clip. Whatever, man. Whatever works. I'm really happy that it's OD green. I don't know if there's any other colors, but that's that's pretty handsome. And uh, 14C, that's great. That's great. Yeah, this is a cool little knife. 5190. I like this better than the best, the last best tech that we got. 
This is great. Backspacer with a uh, lanyard hole cut out. Okay, that's fine. Whatever works. Those are probably sixes. I don't know what that one is. Who knows? We can compare it to this one. Okay, so that's probably a T8 then. Because Benchmade uses T10 on their pivots at least. Okay. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. That's pretty chill. Great standard box, dudes. I think. <laughs> we have a, a glow fob. We got a killer knife. And then a, a fun letter opening uh, uh, a neck knife thing. We learned how to do a double carrick bend today. We're doing great with a standard box, man. Now, let's check out this premium shebang. What do we got? Phoenix flashlights, T6 tactical pen light. For what, 37 buck? That's this here. Ooh. Ah. Now I haven't had a Phoenix yet. So we'll have to check this out. See what all the hullabaloo is. What do we got? Um, T6 pen light combines EDC lighting options with a simple writing pen. Okay. Something that most of us use daily. Sure. Light has a max output of 80 lumens and max runtime 26 hour. Okay. Uh, USB-C rechargeable. Light portion is detachable so you can use a pen and light up your work area. That's cool. That's cool. So here's a light job. Of course you got a uh, ball uh, glass breaker on the back. Which is very nice. Thank you for not making it a pointed thing. I'm going to try this out later because I'm uh, a little hyped and don't want to cut myself. So what all we got back here? 18 meter throw on high. Okay, so low is 1 lumen. That'll run for 26 hours. Okay, so the 80 lumens that they were talking about only goes for 40 minutes. But 18 meter throw, that's pretty nice, huh? That's pretty nice. Yeah, man, that's pretty cool. I don't know what kind of ink cartridge it uses, does it say? Hmm, hmm. Rotary retracting ink tip. Okay, so it's a twist to open. All right. Doesn't say. We'll figure it out later. I'm just excited for this last thing. We got a White River Knife and Tool M1 Backpacker Pro. Came in a fun wood box. I don't know if you saw it. Look at that, look at that. Oh, here, let's put this up here. I got this fun knife. All right, so, I don't know what I'm doing. Don't mind me, don't mind me. What do we got? Small family company with a passion for making American-made knives. Ooh, yeah. All the knives, impressive fit, finish, okay, lifetime warranty, cool. M1 Backpacker Pro is their flagship knife, cool. Excellent knife for EDC or use in the field. 3 inch S35VN, okay, texture G10, 2.5 ounce. So it weighs the same as this neck knife. That's kind of special. Since they weigh the same, let's use it to open it, huh? Try not to cut myself on that sheet. I'm used to doing that with cigar boxes, so. It's fun that I get to use my cigar box skills on a knife. Great presentation, man. <laughs> Excellent presentation. That's great. Okay, so it's got, I mean, Kydex, clearly. Um, now this pancake sheath is pretty nice because, like, it gets real close. And then you have bulbous cutouts. I like that style than like the ones that make it like <laughs> they they want you to put two knives of the same size in the thing. I like this design. This is great. This is slick. Hi, sir. We got Iro butt right there, blocking the light. Um, this clip looks like it got screwed down. Okay, so that might need to change. 
This definitely looks pocketable, so I might need to uh, get another ulti clip or something. Iro says uh, it tastes good. So, there's that. Cute little knife. Sir, this is sharp. You gotta, you gotta heck off for a second. You can't get up there, honey. You can't do it. Okay, so we'll try and do this safely around a cat. Because everybody knows cats are wily. So, it's just little and cute. We have a nice finger choil up here. Sharpening choil. Great, great. Just a cute little knife. And it was S35VN, so that's pretty good. Nice bright orange. I don't know any other colors that they have. It doesn't say. Got a lanyard hole at the back. Let's flip it around. Make sure boy cats don't get cut. Got a nice bear and the white river emblem right there. Yeah, man. That's great. If it's great in the hand. <laughs> wow, that feels good. Holy jeez. That feels great. That feels excellent. Man, I can't wait to use this. All right. All right. What all what all came with this here? We'll go over that in a second. Model 1 Pro. Stonewash. Okay. What's that say? Ion Bond that it could have been? Okay. Cool. Nothing on the back. All right. What's this? Belt Loop Instructions. What? Mounted sheath. Vertical. Horizontal. 45. Okay. Okay, work on a lot of stuff. Determine the position and then uh, make it fit. Yeah, I got that. Let's see. Well, I don't know. I don't. Oh, wait, I do. I was about to say that I don't have a ruler, but I have my log and jotter with me. Look at that. So here we can see that this will uh, fit up to two inch belts. That's pretty cool. Man, that's great. Most standard ones are one and a half inch, so this will fit great. You can adjust it however you want, hold it however you want. Man, that's killer. I'm really, really happy with this. Really happy with this. That's great, man. All right. I'm going to stop uh, losing losing the plot here. <laughs> Let's go over everything again. We got this Tech Accessories Glow Fob. It's pretty attractive, right? It's real cute, real cute. We have this Kershaw Dune, which is a Tanto sword-based nick knife thing. In uh, 8C. It's pretty cool. It's pretty hefty. We have this amazing piece. This Bestechman Ronin. Which is really, really cool. And then we got a Phoenix Pen and Light Combo. And then a White River Knife and Tool M1 Backpacker Pro. All right, and this was 200 bucks. Let's do some quick maths. What's that? 187. 187 is close to, with the 15, so that's 200. And then here we have another 80 in change. So 280 total value. That's pretty great, man. That's pretty great. Oh, I didn't do comparisons with this one. Excuse me. M3 or pair three. Oh, it's the same size. Same size as a pair three. Blade's a little bit longer. <laughs> so you get more handle uh, using the choil on the Spider Co than this one. You get more blade. Yeah. 
No, that's fine. They're the same size. Okay, comparison's done. <laughs> anyway, um, I should go start dinner. So uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this box as much as I did. Really excited. Three knives, man. Three knives. Wow. That's great. Really need to find my, my uh, nieces and nephews and give them some of this stuff. Um, they won't destroy anything at all. Anyway, um, hope you guys had fun and liked everything as much as I do. This is all great, my dudes. This is killer stuff. Really happy with this box and definitely going to continue it. Um, so yeah, I guess I'll catch you guys later. Mm, goodbye.